Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the library website. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you here is just how to log in if you are using the library website from home. So if you're doing this at the college, you're not going to have any problems. Um, and if you're using it from home, it's equally easy. There's just one more step. So as you're using the, the library website, you will likely come across this page um, at some point when you're trying to look for your article. Uh, and basically, it's just a matter of logging in. So the login you're going to use here is going to be um, your student number. Okay, So you're going to put your student number in this field. And your PIN. So your PIN, when you're getting into the library website, is actually just the last four digits of your student number. So put your full student number up here and the last four digits of your student number here and then you're going to log in. Okay? Uh, all right, so let's get started. So we can start just uh, on our main Algonquin College website page um, and then a very easy way to get to the library is just to click slash and library. And this will take us to the main search page. So the first thing we have here is um, the OneSearch. This is a great way to search for resources at the library. Uh, so for example, if you would like to, you can start here and you can click in, uh, for example, Teaching with Technology. Okay. So when I click this, uh, it just takes a minute to load. Okay, and then uh, here we have a big list of resources. But what you're going to see is that when we use the OneSearch, you get a variety of types of sources. So here I got an ebook, here I got a report, um, I got reports, academic journals, ebooks, 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 books. Um, so the library is going to give you all the resources on this topic and for a number of your assignments you are just going to be looking for an article um, and an article that has a specific number of pages. So instead of using the OneSearch, I'm going to show you an alternative so that you're not looking through like a lot of resources. Okay, so we're going to skip the OneSearch and we're going to go down to this box here that says digital resources. All right. So this will take us to a collection of different databases. Okay, so here we are. We have our digital resource collections at the college. If we scroll down, we can see that we have a number of different databases that we can go into to look for resources. Um, and if you are in a program of study, um, your teacher might say go to a specific database. So if you are, for example, in um, some type of design or architecture program, you might use uh, the art and architecture, uh, architecture complete uh, database. But for a more general database, uh, we can go to this one here, which has just a lot of articles and resources on a variety of subject areas. So let's click here, the Academic Search Complete. It's the second from the top under A. Okay, so once you get to this page, you can put in your keywords, but uh, the best thing to do is to click Advanced Search so that we can get a little bit more specific with what we're looking for. Okay. So if we scroll down, um, we can do a few things here. We can, most importantly, for um, some of the assignments we're going to be doing in level three, uh, we can go to the number of pages that we want. And so I suggest uh, scrolling down to less than. We are looking for articles that are less than, for example, 10 pages. Um, and the reason I'm choosing 10 is because sometimes articles have a title page and maybe a few reference pages. So this means likely that our articles will be, you know, maybe max six or seven pages of text. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, we can also ask to only get PDFs, uh, full text articles. So that means that when we um, look for our articles, we'll only get ones that are fully complete and accessible right away. We could also, if we want to get more specific, talk about what kind of a publication we want. Um, so we can scroll through the document types, or we could look for periodicals or newspapers or books. We can get more specific if we want, but for now, let's just leave those and, and see what we get. Okay. So now I can search for my topic. For example, um, teaching with technology. And I'll do my search. Okay. So you can see here that I have um, a number of articles, academic journal articles. If I scroll down, I have lots and lots here to choose from. But um, each one of them is going to be less than 10 pages. So we don't have some of those really long 40 page articles. At the left here, if we want to, we can be more specific. So we can ask for um, only academic journals or academic journals and magazines or academic journals, magazines and newspapers. So here is a way that we can narrow our search if we want to. Uh, also, if we want something that is a little bit more recent, we can move this tab to say, okay, we only want publications between, say, the years um, 2012 and 2019. So we can update, you know, the length of time um, or the the uh, currency of our articles. Okay, so let's just choose an article here to have a look at what this looks like. Let's just go for our first article here. We'll click below because this is going to take us right to the text, the full PDF text. And there we go, we have an article and we can see that this article is four pages. Okay, so we can sort of scan through it and decide if it's something that we want. Okay, if it is an article that we do want or it's an article that we want to consider using, um, there's a few useful uh, little tabs on the side of your screen that I suggest using. Okay, so the first one, if we want to, I believe, save it to a Google Drive, we can do that. Uh, if we want to print it, we can click the, the print icon. Um, this one I really like, we can click this uh, icon and we can email this article to ourselves. So we would just put our email in this second um, little spot here maybe the subject, and we can send the article to ourselves and we could review it later. That way we don't lose the article, okay? Um, another very useful tab is this one here that says Cite, C-I-T-E. So when we click the Cite button, we can scroll down here and uh, we need to remember that in this course, as well as a lot of courses at Algonquin College, um, your teachers will want you to use APA reference style. So when you click that button, you're going to see different reference styles. This one says AMA, I think the first one was ABMT, but we need to scroll down until we see this acronym APA. Okay, and here you can copy and paste your APA citation. Okay, and that's something that you can include in your assignment. All right, so um, I hope this has been helpful. Good luck with your searches and your projects, um, and uh, thank you very much.